and uh, let's get right into it. So, what is topic number one? Well, I'm glad you asked, Chris. Topic number, <laughs> <laughs> topic number one is all of <laughs> is all about the People's Choice Awards. So we got the People's Choice Awards. They they just came through. Uh, a few of the nominees. We're not going to run through them all because the People's Choice Awards are just ridiculous with their long list. You know, the mm-hmm. greatest uh, song, the greatest uh, movie, T, they cover a lot of things. The greatest uh, celebrity who hasn't been canceled yet. I can't wait until that category is actually yeah. something. Uh, <laughs> it, seems like, uh, it seems like it's only a matter of time since they already have like the most binge-worthy category did you see that they have a binge worthy category now no i believe that nowadays all streaming platforms i mean streaming i mean it is i mean i guess it is is in this covid world now it's i thought you were i thought you were gonna uh it sounded like a Tupac song you were about to sing. I was like, is she about to say quote Tupac? Okay. But, uh, you know, that's that's what, b- before the show starts every every week, Sarah's always quoting Tupac. You guys don't know that. That's another fun yeah. fact about Sarah Catherine. Tupac Olivia. for life. <laughs> but... Uh, let me, let's me let run down real quick. All, we're gonna, all I'm going to do is talk about the, uh, the movie uh, category, then the main TV category, albums, and I think there's one more comedy act. That's all I'm going to cover. Mm-hmm. So for the, as you guys can see right there, for movie, we have Black Widow, Coming to America 2. These are the nominees for Best Film of 2021. Uh, Fast 9, The Fast Saga, Dune, No Time to Die, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, The Tomorrow War, and Mm -hmm. Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Um, There's some there that I can understand why they're in there. I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess this is just everything that's, um, that comes out before the nominees are, are, uh, yeah, I feel like these are all just very recent. I feel like there's other movies in 2021 that could have made the list, I guess. The only one that really like, like coming to America, uh, too, is that, I mean, that was the the oldest one on this list. I think everything else was like a week ago. Yeah. (laughs) So it's it's weird how how this list came together, and mm. have you seen? I've I've only seen okay from the list. I've seen Black Widow. I've seen Coming to America too. I've uh, seen that one. Seen Ven- I've seen Venom. The greatest. I haven't movie seen of the Fast and Furious Nine. I kind of gave up around the third one. What? Um, <laughs> I haven't seen No Time to Die yet, but I do want to see that I or Dune, that. and then. The Tomorrow War, I saw that one, and then I haven't seen Venom. Uh, Mr. Legend says that he, uh, I have to watch Dune again. This movie is too original, and I might be stunned about it. I, I'm, I promised Sarah that I wouldn't watch it on uh, mm-hmm. HBO Max, even though it's right mm-hmm. there. But it's Dune is one of those. It's like it's in that situation where, and we'll go uh, further into detail about it a little bit later. But it's in that situation where when you know it's available on a pla- on a streaming service, I just I've go I'm like I'll catch it whenever I feel like it. It's no sense of urgency. Like it's only in theaters, and when it's not in theaters anymore, then you have that time gap from when it's um a- available on on streaming or or on DVD or something like that. There's no there's no sense of I got to get my butt out there you know now because it's it's right there whenever I feel like it. I decide. I decide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, I totally agree. But if if you feel like this newer version of the Dune movie, because there has been another Dune movie, it was yeah. way back in the days. I think it's like the seventies mm-hmm. or eighties. Late eighties, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So if you watch that one, I know that one follows the books more closely. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if the new version does or not. So I guess we'll see after I get a chance to fully drown myself in it but um yeah watch if you think that this one is really original watch the first one if the first movie you know if the second movie does goes as closely to the book as the first one does then you'll you'll be able to see a little more insight because i know the first one had a lot of the great dialogue that was in the books i um there's another um youtuber Name uh, and the guy's been in the business for a long time. Named uh, John Campia. He's a huge Star Wars fan, and he's him and his wife. Mm-hmm. They enjoy Star Wars. She enjoys sci-fi. She's uh, she's not like a crazy Star Wars fan or, or crazy. His wife isn't crazy into sci-fi that much, but she's like you know above average nerd, right? Mm-hmm. But he says when they saw Dune, she walked out the theater and said. I you know I love Star Wars. He was talking to her husband. You know I love Star yeah. Wars. She, I guess she had to brace him because he <laughs> loves Star Wars. But I think Dune 
is the greatest sci-fi movie I've ever seen. She she's never seen the, the she never read the book. She, he says she's mm-hmm. never seen any of the, the she never saw the old movie. But she so this is her first introduction. And she said this is her favorite sci-fi fantasy uh, movie that she's ever seen in her life. So I like well, that's it's an big. amazing world. The the More writer, of it is, writer creative. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's fantastic. And during the time period in which it came out, there was like nothing like mm. it. Like. I mean, there's still people copying it now. Like if you look at Tremors with their sandworms and things like that, um, stuff like that. So there's been a lot of copies and a lot of attempts to kind of steal a little bit from this movie. um, Well, from the books originally, if you want to be serious. And there's lots of the books. So really, this movie could be, you know, four or five movies if they wanted to, but it probably won't. They'll probably condense them. What do you think people are are going to go for, for People's Choice? The People's Choice Award. So I... I'm pretty sure sh- I'm I'm convinced Fast Nine is gonna win this. I don't know why. I don't it's, know. I think, I think... between Fast Nine or Black Widow. I'm just talking about the people. Oh no, really? It's a, I mean, because it's the people's I... choice. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. they're, they're, there's gonna I be don't kids know. I feel twice. like I feel like Shang Chi definitely has a nice push to it. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I'm feeling either like Shang Chi or or maybe the No Time to Die. Maybe. I, think, I don't know. I, I think it's it's. It, it, it's a potluck, really. Yeah, I mean, because uh, when, because it's it's like voting for prom king with this with the people's mm-hmm. choice. So it's like who's the most popular, and that's what I'm thinking. It's uh, like Venom is uh, has got a chance. Fast Nine, yeah. uh, any of the Marvel movies, really. You're pretty much right, but com- mm-hmm. but let's just be honest. No time to I don't think No Time to Die has a shot. I don't think Tomorrow World has a yeah. shot because no, I don't think Tomorrow World does. No. I don't think coming. To I, I was has surprised. It. I, I will. I will put on here. I would put coming to America at the bottom and I, I enjoyed the movie, but I don't know why it just looks odd in this list. It just doesn't, yeah. It doesn't I was thinking fit. that too. I was like, well, everything I was, here is I was action. a little shocked. Everything and then like fast action. and fast and the furious saga nine. I was a little surprised to see that one on here as well. I figured it out. Okay. Chris Fagan's uh, my conspiracy theory is about to come out again. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. People's Choice didn't want to be hit with that Oscars so white hashtag. Boom. That's there you go. <laughs> there okay. you go. <laughs> That's why I come into America. Let's throw Eddie Murphy's movie in there. <laughs> all right. Uh, real quick, I can spend all day. Uh, but guys, if uh, so, if you ever again, if you want to still send us uh, questions, your comments, concerns, please send it to us as always. Uh, we love to get those uh, those comments and read them during the show. So we'll see you guys again uh, next week. If you want to find me, you can always go to at T3 Media's uh, on the, all the uh, the TikToks and the YouTubes and all that stuff, and just and come talk mm-hmm. to us. And for Sarah Catherine uh, Red, where can they find you online? So I'm primarily on Instagram, but I'm Sarah Catherine the Red everywhere else too. So. <laughs> Go Strauss. All right, guys. We're, oh, gonna, we're gonna watch the game. We're gonna watch the uh we're gonna watch the Atlanta Braves. The Braves game. beat the Astros again. Again. Because they did it once already. I'm done. Good show. Hi. Good show. Good show. Good show. <laughs> Good luck there, Astros. Our supporters help make all this content possible. So make sure you check out our Patreon page so you can help us bring you the content you want. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I'm turned up just like heavy metal. Yo, turned up on another level. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I turned up just like heavy metal.